Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Renee Jones, and sometimes he's just not that into you like he always is in one of the romance novels I write. So, you know, it all goes like this. You see this really hot guy, or there's just this guy that has that certain sizzling something that makes your heart kind of race, and we know what it does to your body. And you are all about how this is going to be the best sex of your life, and then you're going to fall in love. It's going to be magnificent. And then he doesn't call. Or worse, that you sleep with that little bitch, and then call then he's really just not that into you and you were really that into him and all of a sudden that warm wonderful sexy glow you had is all about you're feeling pretty damn horrible about yourself so I'm gonna ask my husband today who at one point thought he was quite the little player to uh, tell us what that means you know he's just not that into you how do we figure that out so Diego can you come join us <laughs> you did think you were quite the little player, didn't you? I did. Oh, you, he even admits it. I don't know. What do I? What do I say to that, ladies? I don't know. Well, I'm not like that anymore. Oh I mean, no, well, thank. A long you, time. I mean, that was a long time ago. Right, right. No, he's not like that anymore because he would be castrated. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's All just right, how it on, is. Baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, he's just not that into you, so let's talk about that. And ladies, sometimes we're just not that into him, too. Now, we're just talking about those times when somehow we go from, hey, it's just sex, it's going to be hot, to somehow that one guy makes us really want him to be into us. So, uh, it's, how's that go down? I mean, you're, you seem to be into us. You're smiling, you're talking to us, you're giving us those vibes. Where does it go wrong? It goes wrong when that all that stuff, you know, he's smiling, he's, he's all, you know, in, into you basically at the moment, but then that's really a facade. He's not that into He wasn't that into you to begin with. Uh, he, he wanted something, whether it was... He wanted something, like sex. Could, more, yeah, nine times out of ten. But sex. sometimes he doesn't call at all, like he asks you out on a date. So he thinks yeah. he wants sex, but then he decides he doesn't something want sex. Something happened during the day that's just like, man, what, this is a psycho, or, you know, <laughs> you automatically start thinking of the future, like, not I mean like marriage and kids, I mean like the next week or the next few days, how is she going to be around your buddies, around your family, like, what are they going to say, they're going to be like, man, why are you with this chick, man, she's a little extreme on one way or the other, and yeah, we just, all of a sudden, the the, light, the, the fuse will just go out and we'll be like, hey, you know, I forgot, um, I really have something like that, that I have to do, it's, it's not like I'm, you know, blowing you off, I really have something to do, I'll, you know, hook you up later. Hook you up. Hit you up later. Or hit you up later. Okay. So, what are some of the things that a girl would look for? Like, a, <clears throat> he doesn't call her, or I mean, what are some of the things? Well, the the phone call. I mean, nowadays, thank God, there's the the phone call is always nerve wracking for us guys. You know, okay, what if she doesn't answer or whatever? So nowadays, now it's um like a text. We can just send a text. Hey, how's it going? I really had a good time. But um. So wait. So. If you really like a girl, you are nervous about calling her. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. She, but you would call her how soon if you're really into her? <laughs> well, we want to call her right away. And if you're really, really into her and you know, you're know you one of those type of guys that isn't afraid to show that you're into her, well, then you call her right away that same night or the next day. That whole waiting two days, I mean, that, that was always for, for, I think, Hollywood purposes and making a good movie. So guys don't really think like that? No, we, we want to call my friend that. I mean, as soon as the date's over, we're thinking about you, we want to call you. But now, we can just text, hey, you know, just, it's a simple, you don't have to hear the rejection or the, hey, the sigh in your voice, you know, or something like that. Because there is no... Is that I mean, what we do if we don't really... I guess you could put a sigh in brackets and that would be in a text that would be messed up big time. But no, otherwise, <laughs> it's just a text. Uh, hey, what's up? I had a great time, you know, whatever. But a text, we can put it out there. You know, and then the ball's in your court. Okay, but so let's say you pursue really hard, uh -huh. and we jump all over it. Do you set lose some of the? I mean, I've always been of the opinion men are kind of predators. You. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. If, you like the chase. Yeah. If she's just yeah, they kind of. It's not a complete and shut down 100% turn off. No, no. It's it's a little bit of a man. You know, she's 
a little extreme there, you know. I can see a little. So we can't win. I mean, if we act like we're as excited as they do, so that's how this translates. We can't ask or act as excited as they are. We have to like pull back. And I always was of the philosophy that no matter how into him I was, he was not going to know how into him I was. And I did not let him know how into him I was. Did I? I that. <laughs> no, no, he did not know how into him I was. I mean, I felt like he had to come after me, work for it, and if he really wanted me, he'd work for it. That was just how it had to be. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> I came after you. So some things that you've seen like women do and in relationships, like, okay, so he's just not that into you if he... Okay, well... I've had a you know uh, experience or stories told to me from people that that I know. I'm not gonna name names. And this is going on YouTube, obviously. So, okay, if you discover, I'm sure by sheer accident, <sighs> his phone happens to be laying out there, and you happen to pick it up, and you happen to scroll through past texts. Because messages, you would never intentionally. No, no, it. all this is just pure like, oh, this is by accident, you know. Um, and you see that he uh, texted some pictures. Of his, you know, his penis. <laughs> that really, ha we know something this really happened to. To another woman. Then yeah, you, you can probably think that he's not that into you. <laughs> he's not. If he's doing that. Uh, other things. And ladies, if he's texting his penis to someone, you really shouldn't be that into him either. <laughs> yeah, good point. Uh, actually, that was the final straw on the that, that broke the camel's back. Right there. Yeah, we know something this happened to. So. Another one, um, if you, again, purely circumstantial, you happen to be looking through his internet search but history. But you never do that. No, no, this is all pure, like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, whatever. You happen to be looking, and you discover that he is a member of an online dating site. Uh, and then, you know, you can do your own research to discover how long, or maybe he'll tell you how long, and he'll tell you, oh, no, I've, I've, I was, it was just pure, I was trying to see what it was like, what happened on the first email, or... I wasn't really trying to, yeah, right, bullshit. He knew what he was doing. He was in there trolling around, looking for an easy lay, and he got busted. What about lots of time out with the guys? Hmm? Oh, yeah, okay, basically, if he spends more time with anybody else than you, then odds are 9.9 .9 times out of 10, he's not that into you. Yeah. Because if we really like a chick, she's on our mind. We want to be around her with her you know, all the time. Even if you want to bring her along with the guys, um, you you really into her. Or even if you're with the guys, but you're sitting there all the time, texting with her, and your buddy's like, man, what the hell? And then, oh, sorry. You all know that, but if he's texting you all the time while he's with his friends, he's, he's into you. He's into you. But if, if there's no text, no phone calls, if he'd just rather be with him more than you, or even family, uh, if he doesn't take you, uh, well, I mean, that could determine be determined by the length of the relationship. He doesn't want to... You know, introduce you to mom yet? I don't know. He could but be old-fashioned. should once you fairly yeah, at some quickly. point. Yeah, at some point. Fairly quickly, don't you think? If you're really into somebody, not like the second date, but well, no. within a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. Within a month, maybe a month and a half. He doesn't friend you on Facebook. Oh, if you send him a friend request on Facebook, and okay, the first day. Well, I wouldn't send a friend request. He'd have to friend request me. <laughs> just so you ladies know, I would not friend request because again, you want him to pursue. If you don't get a response within two or three days, he's... Mm. What about um, if you text him and he doesn't text you back? Okay, look, if a guy is going out with a chick, first day, second day, whatever, he's if he's really into you, he's looking for any phone call from you, any text, he's always looking. He's not going to miss your text. If he doesn't respond, okay, give him an hour or two. I mean, maybe he is... In the meeting or in the bathroom. Or I was yeah, in the bathroom reading comics. Not that I know anyone that would do that. <laughs> and and then, uh, if he takes longer than that, then yeah. Okay, so what about um, our final topic? I'm thinking of Sex in the City again. Big, Mr. Big. Mm. I mean, he was like with her, but not with her forever. And I think of people I know who've dated forever and the guy just never really commits. I mean, what's up with that? Why are they with the woman, but they're not? completely with her. What's up with that shit? Well, because they're more, more committed to being single. And so they're not that the into potentials you. that that can bring. Um, but 
So he knows what he has here, but he's not too sure what, what the field will offer. So he's not quite ready to give that up. And so it changed, though. All of a sudden, Mr. Big was into Carrie. Yeah, whenever she got with that Maybe. Russian guy. No, oh, it was the Russian guy, that's right. Yeah, the Russian guy. He was like, she, remember she was going to marry him, I think? Yeah, I know this because she told me all about it. Oh, no, no, he watches it with me every episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so once she put him second, or not at the top of the list, well, then he was... But she did that with Aiden, too, which, of course, he did try and get with her then, too. He did so, go with her, huh? Yeah, he did. But not that he knows from watching it. Um, nope. but, so, but he still didn't completely commit with the Aiden thing. He just wasn't that into her. It's like, you know, my whole thing about Mr. Big was, it was like he ran out of options. He finally got so old, he said, I'll settle for <laughs> Carrie. That's how I felt about it. Even though, yes, I ultimately wanted her to be with Mr. Big, I felt like he finally settled. I don't think that the right guy has to finally settle for you. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, so he's just not that into you. Sometimes. Sorry, ladies. <laughs>